This channel is proudly sponsored by The Red Room Publishing. Please check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released The Darker RPG, a tabletop role-playing game of supernatural and existential horror. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Battle Century G Remastered. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this mecha anime inspired tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about terrain and the end of the operation. Operations of course must take place somewhere, and every locale is different, from flat featureless plains to floors made of lava. Being able to take advantage of the terrain can change the outcome of a battle, so make sure that you know how it affects your unit. There is plain terrain represented by platforms, there is also difficult terrain, perhaps uneven hills, or rocky surfaces, which forces the units to have their speed while they are within this difficult terrain. Perhaps in the case of space, there are asteroids or the debris, pieces from a base that was destroyed long ago. When it comes to defensive terrain, this is distinguished by having a lot of cover for units, such as deep jungles or perhaps urban settings. Defensive terrain protects units in it, with a disadvantage to all might tests against them. There is also extreme terrain, which covers a variety of hazardous environments that are deadly to both people and giant robots. A unit that begins or ends a turn within extreme terrain must test either systems or speed against a difficulty number of 10, plus the current tension. Should they fail the test, they then take the amount they failed it by as damage. There is also impassable terrain. These are zones that you simply cannot move through, such as artificial barriers or perhaps mountains. If you would ever be forced to move against impassable terrain, the movement halts as you take damage as if you had crashed into another unit. There are other more specialized forms of terrain such as interference terrain, which hampers your ability to see or perceive. There is also withering terrain, which hampers your energy regeneration, and the variant anti-air terrain, which makes life quite difficult for flying units. You can also stack various types of terrain together, boosting or enhancing the terrain's properties. Let's talk about the end of the operation. By default, an operation ends when all antagonist non-player character units or the antagonist base unit are defeated or they have retreated. There could be other factors and circumstances, of course. Player characters could also leave the battlefield prematurely, perhaps they decided to run away. Or maybe they have other objectives to pursue. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about writing the character. When it comes to terrain, this adds nuances and complexity to any battlefield. Now it's not just about surviving the attacks from the enemy, this is also about dealing with the hazards and using the terrain to your advantage. When it comes to the end of the operation, it could happen as described in this section of the rulebook, but there could be other outcomes, other situations, results that could put an end to the current operation in an unexpected way. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive for RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.